Right, stop, 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 stop. As Maxi tries to get the panicking patients on board. Turn around, turn around. He spots an empty surfboard floating on the surface. So whose board's this? Multiple people across the, the beach are waving their arms frantically. Beachgoers have reported two swimmers swept out in the notorious backpacker's rip. Maxi charges out for the 100 metre paddle. In this case, the rip was quite far out to sea. I was going as hard as I could. It was quite a long paddle. Am I going to get there in time? Is there multiple casualties? You know, all these things are run through your mind. There's a lot going on. How long have they been going on for? Maybe like two minutes. Oh. Like, they seem to be fine, and then they just, like, screaming. I managed to get out there, and I could see two people out the back, and a few servers helping out. All right, come over here, brother. What are you swimming down here for? Well, the rescue was only half done. We needed to get him back into shore. These two swimmers were quite distressed and panicky. All right, stop, 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 stop. Hop, hop okay. back in, hop okay. back in. Come over here, boss. As Maxi tries to get the panicking patients on board. Turn around, turn around. He spots an empty surfboard floating on the surface. So whose board's this? Where's the third person? Where's this other person? Who's on this board? So who, where's the person for that board, though? Do we have a missing person on our hands here? It's a very serious situation unfolding, and I need to work out exactly where this person is. You need to get reassurance by other people out there because they've helped with the situation. That's her board? Oh, that's her board? OK, awesome. I was quite relieved to see a person further out holding onto another surfboard. She kindly donated her board to help with these drowning swimmers. Turn around. Oh. Okay. No, spin around. We didn't have another missing person on our hands. You come over here. Now the primary focus was to get these two patients on my board back to shore safely. But easier said than done. You move up. Move up. Move up. Yep. You hop on. Because we're quite far out to sea, you know, the, the half the challenge was getting him on the board safely. Oh, hop on top of him. Hop on top of him. Quite a bit of a, a wrestle. All right, come back. Lay down. They weren't really listening to what I had to say. They were quite panicky. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey. There was one point where we fully rolled. Oh. I need to take control of that situation very quickly. Hey, hey, stop. You're getting your zen, all right? No more, Mr. Nice Guy. You. Hop on the board. No, they didn't speak much English, but when I roused on them, they start to learn very quickly. All right, now you come back in the white shirt. Come back. All right, lay down. All right, OK, we're good. Just try and keep your balance on the board. Okay. Rescuing two patients on the one board requires exceptional strength and balance. As soon as they listened, we got them on the board nice and quickly and safely, and we made our way back to shore. All right. All right, boys, are you OK? OK. Come here. Let's alone. Swim between the flags, all right? So we're used for swimming. Stay just car inside. Okay. Not good. This, OK to protect you from the sun, but when you swim, very hard. Doesn't matter how many rescues you do, it's always a relief to have the patients back on the shore after a serious rescue, and they're alive and well. You OK? Yeah, sure. You OK? Yeah. All right, sweet. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> 